Who the fuck cares if I'm drunk as hell or not anymore? Jackass has put me through fucking hell on fucking wheels for a year and a half, keeping me in Pennsylvania. I couldn't leave if I left or else I had to breathe in the sobriety link at three o'clock every day, six o'clock, eight o'clock. Then a random beep would go off no matter where I was at. I had to fucking stop whatever I was doing and go to an urgent care to go piss. Then I had to wake up every day with a handful of antidepressant pills that I would have to show Paramount Pictures that I took them and swallowed them every single day. Steve-O has been sober as fuck since, since 10 years. If he had a breath light, like he's gonna go camping one day and not have any internet reception. He's gonna sleep through one or two. He's got like people, they set me up with such a fucking hard mission that, and then COVID happened for a year against anyone's knowledge. Like, so now I just spend $90,000 in a rehab for 90 days at my expense. <clears throat> I had to go to 30 days in Florida for a rehab at my expense. I had to pay for therapists that they recommended at their expense, but I had to pay for it. I have, <clears throat> I wrote them so many ideas and if I'm not in the movie and they use my ideas, how do you think that that'll make me feel? The last thing I want to do is be in a courtroom with Jeff fucking Tremaine. I love him. What the heck? Fuck, man. I'm not in Jackass 4. If anybody cares about me, don't go see their movie because I will make mine way fucking radder if you just Venmo me a dollar. <laughs> just a buck. If you send a hundred bucks, I'll remember your name and write it down and straggle it. You send more than that and I'll do more, but ten pound is some fucking... <clears throat> Jackass was everything to me. And now, now I'm so relieved that it's done. Fuck you, Knoxville. Fuck you, Spike. Fuck you, Jeff. You fuckers never cared about me, man. <laughs> no, you fucking fuckers.